r slash ask reddit logically morally humanely what should be free but isn't scientific papers journals the authors are paying to be published in the journal the readers are also paying the only one who profits are the publishing companies knowledge should be free also the research is frequently funded by government grants and performed with the invaluable assistance of students interns and volunteers therefore are ultimately paid for by the public who then are not even allowed to read the result without paying a privately owned publisher just had my first paper accepted and learned about all of this shit what a ducking joke that entire process is thank you to those who reviewed my work for free in order for me to pay to have my work published in a journal which requires one to further pay in order to read it all a joke edit since this blew up answers below yes i uploaded it to the arxiv and yes that's a free version anyone can access however some journals specifically prohibit this why authors publish in these journals i'm not sure fortunately not my case here i will not be sharing the paper on here obvious reasons but i appreciate the desire to read it imagine you are homeless but at least you don't have to pay money to go to the toilet that's a thing that is dying what if i need to shit really badly but i don't have 50 cents on me pay toilets is that really a thing that's how you end up with homeless people shitting on your lawn it began with the public toilets where somebody sits there and wants you to put 50 cents in a bow and now some McDonald's and stuff want you to pay if you are not a guest. I've once seen a Turkish snack shop that wants 2 euros to go to toilet if you don't buy food. Official college transcripts. You already paid for the classes and then they deny you access to proof of your education. It's not right. Was surprised when I was applying as a transfer student from a community college to a four year university and had to pay to get my transcripts sent. Even worse, one of the colleges made a mistake and forgot to charge 2k in tuition when I went there, which I was unaware of. Then they refused to release my transcripts until I paid the 2k. I didn't have 2k, but needed those transcripts immediately to get into my new college. Foo who up that? I had to pay to release my transcripts from undergrad to med school to prove I had a bachelor's. Even though I am now in med school at the same university I did my undergrad at. I literally paid $45 for the school to email themselves. Duck it. That's pretty bad. I worked for a small private college and many of our undergrads continued to get their grad work with the same college. We did not charge them for this. So I can say, with 20 years of higher ed experience behind me, this officially and officiously sucks rotten eggs. Very sorry. Transaction processing fees when you order a digital product online, such as a concert ticket. You pay 6 bucks extra while you pay online, and then have to print the ticket yourself. I tried to order my birth certificate from one of the companies the state contracts. They charge the state fee plus a processing fee. Then they said it would take 60 business days starting after I submitted a notarized document which that would be another fee. I cancelled immediately when I saw all that and they still kept the processing fee. I was in and out of the county building as 15 minutes with my birth certificate. Convenient my ass. Oh man I work for my state's construction industry division and people pay buttloads to this one company to help with contractor licenses. When all they're getting is a lady with that company turning in your paperwork for you. You can just turn it in yourself and save hundreds of dollars. We even have a notary in office that only charges $5 while this company charges like $200 to get anything notarized. Circus animals. An uncommon interpretation of the question. But I guess it is acceptable. You get an elephant. You get an elephant. Everybody gets an elephant. Water should be free. Nestle joined the chat. Don't get me started on them. TBH. This sounds weird. But death. Funeral services which require you to pay for cremating the dead. ETC are kinda weird to me. Funerals are big business. And people are dying to get in. This guy is a dad. Science textbooks. When a scientist gets published. He she doesn't get any profit if the schools use it. Every textbook I've had hasn't been free, so I just email the publisher and find out one of the names, of whom was published, to email them. Since they get no money, they'll be glad to email you back the entire book, to which you can print off yourself. It's a life hack people should know instead of having to pay thousands for college textbooks. Edit, 
I did this with my calculus geometry professor in ISU, Indiana State University, and he said that he only got one overall pay for being published with other professors, and that he would be glad to give it to me, as he would all of his students. I'm not lying. Thank you all and have a nice day. Edit no. 2. TYSM for all the upvotes. I am new to Reddit and wow. What sort of email do you send them? Hey let's stick it to the publisher. Send me a copy would ya? Basically, yes. Hi, I'm interested in your workbook, but it is not freely accessible. Would be so kind as to send me the PDF version? Thanks. Works for both scientific publications and books. Keep in mind that these people were student once as well and probably hate paywalls on scientific knowledge as much as you do. Hong Kong. Redacted. Data expunged. Official government documents that prove you exist. Birth certificates should be free. They are not. Driver's license and state I. D. Should be free. They are not. Driver's license and state I. D. Should be free. They are not. Especially if you're going to require them for voting. They need to be free. Here in Wisconsin, while driver's licenses aren't free, a state that lets you vote is free. Parking at hospitals. Why is this so expensive? It's insane. Nobody is going to the hospital by choice, or because it's a fun day out, absolutely should be free. There is a good reason for this. In some areas space is at a premium and the cost of providing parking is extremely high. Maybe a better idea would be validated parking for patients and their families. The tens of millions of victims of modern day human trafficking and slavery. Huge potential difference there. Should they be freed or free? The former of course. But your statement is still up to interpretation. Based on the question. I agree. Hate having to pay for my slaves. Ambulances. Even if you don't think healthcare should be free, you shouldn't have to worry about calling an ambulance in an emergency because of how expensive it is. Wanna see something even more ducked up? Look at how much EMTs and paramedics make while on the ambulance. I used to wonder how confident would this person be in putting their life in our hands if they found out we make $10 HR? Insulin. My pancreas has never charged me. Damn. Just out here flexing on these diabetes haven idiots. Birth control. Free and accessible birth control will help so many people, but especially teenage girls in rural areas. Can we add birth control for men? Like the soldier. We want more control over conception too and condom sucks. Condoms are still gonna be the best way to prevent transmission of STEEs, though, I would like something I can use as birth control with a long term partner. I'm honestly fully considering getting a vasectomy once I have a steady job and steady sex life. Funerals. It's pretty obscene the amount that were charged for just the basic disposal of human remains. In my opinion it should be run by the government for a minimum fee and if desired you can go as extravagant as you like from your own pocket. When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Not sure if serious but I'm all for having my remains brought to the wild to be consumed. Tampons pads in public restrooms. I'm a man and this is painfully obvious to me. Edit. I added in public restrooms because misogynists that are too lazy to read the comments keep saying women shouldn't have free tampons pads. Edit edit. Thank you for the gold kind stranger. Colon. Edit edit edit. Thank you for the silver kind stranger. See. Or you know. At least not taxed as a luxury product. There are no taxes on feminine hygiene products in Canada. Granted it only saves a few bucks a month. But it's still nice. This isn't free per se. But at this point. Access to the internet internet services should be considered a utility. Like water. Sewage. Electricity. Instead of for profit companies providing it. Edit. It's been pointed out that many utility providers are for profit companies. While this is true. Utility providers are heavily regulated. And I'm saying I think ISPs should be the same. Utilities aren't necessarily run by the government nor non-profit. They are often simply heavily regulated industries providing services to the masses. E. G. Southern California Edison provides electricity for most of Southern California. It's a subsidiary of Edison International, a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. They are 100% for profit, being traded every day along with your ISP. Death. 
Hey if you're interested I'll do it for free. Healthcare and education. My boy Tyro. I don't know what this is in reference to but my mind suddenly started singing you better call. Tyrone circa Erica Badu. Tyrone Don fucked up. Therapy. Generally, those who need psychological help cannot immediately pay for it. We would be society a net good if we pay for therapists who can help those who can't pay for it. Because through therapy, they could probably find a job and then pay taxes to fund the system. Speech. If anyone reading is interesting in a First Amendment lawyer's expert opinion on this subject, I'd like to recommend Ken White. This article is great, and his podcast, Make No Law, does a great job explaining what sorts of prior restraints and other exceptions are allowed in the First Amendment, and why. School meals. It's the only meal some kids get. Mental help. Glasses. You need them to see. It's basically like paying for eyesight. Like you need a DLC for sight. Glasses yes. What really amazes me is that Medicare will pay for an eye exam. But not for glasses. So, if you're old and poor, you are basically told yeah, you can't see. Too bad about that. Same with hearing aids. Use of public beaches at the ocean. So many beaches are either private or you have to pay steep parking fees and other charges in order to enjoy the ocean and beach. I don't mind paying the $20 to park at the beach I go to, it's a super clean beach that gets raked every night. They have to pay the employees to clean, lifeguards, etc. I'd rather have that than a dirty beach for free. Adoption. If you look at the history of horrible exploitation and tragedy, it makes sense why the system is so difficult to get through. It can still be a rigorous high standards process without costing a lot of money for the adopters. The money they have should be spent on their new family, not on adoption fees. Not sure if this has been said. Bathrooms in Europe. It's so annoying having to pay to use the restroom. Healthcare. Free as in a guaranteed service paid for by your tax dollars. Clean water. I'm looking at you bottled water companies. Water. Food. Tampons. Condoms. Birth control. Since some people don't get that this is a prefect world mindset question and answer. Stop saying it won't work. Because of course it won't. This one may be a stretch for some. But electricity. It's so vital for success in today's world. Tampons. It irks me when I realize there's an actual cost associated with the privilege of bleeding profusely and feeling like I'm being disemboweled. At least make them tax exempt. Any prescription medication that is required to keep someone alive. Like insulin for diabetics or inhalers for children and adults with asthma. ATM fees. You pay to withdraw all your own money. What a scam. Tampons in women's restrooms. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.